In this lesson, uh, what we're going to be doing is just looking at um, applying some of the uh, triangle rules that we've learned. Um, and then your, your problem set will include some of these problems like this. So um, if you notice, the difference here is we now are moving beyond just doing the um, area or just finding the sides of a triangle. Um, and this time what we we're doing is we we're looking at the area of certain triangles. So um, in this one it says, what is the area of the following triangle? Well, again, um, you have to recognize that this is a very special kind of triangle. This is what we call a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And remember that you want to um, think about one side, which is a side opposite the right, tri right angle as the hypotenuse. And then you have your short leg. And remember, your short leg is always opposite the 30, and your long leg is always opposite the 60. Now the relationships are the short leg is half the hypotenuse and so you to get from here to here you multiply by one half and then the long, long leg is square root of three times the short leg. So sometimes you have to divide, sometimes you have to multiply. Again, this is all things we've done before. So in this case, we're going to first take this 24, realize that that's the hypotenuse, so the short leg is half that, which is 12, and that means the long leg is 12 root three. And then when we're asking for area, if you remember, we learned about area of a triangle, and when it's a right triangle, it has a right angle, then we just multiply one half times the two legs. And so we're gonna do one half times 12 times 12 root three. Well, one half times 12 is just six, and six times 12 root three, well, when you multiply these out, you only multiply square roots by square roots. Uh, six doesn't have a square root, so you're just gonna do six times 12, which is 72, and then times square root of three. So the area of this particular triangle is 72 square root of three. Okay, and this particular one, again, it's also a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, but this time you're given the, and you should be asking yourself the question, is that the long leg or the short leg? Hopefully you came up with the long leg since it's opposite the 60. That means um, we use the relationship between the long leg and the short leg, which is root three. Remember, it, everything about these 30, 60, 90 degree triangles is based on the short leg. Now, if you use a little bit of logic, you know that you're not gonna multiply 18 by the square root of three. Instead, you're gonna divide by the square root of three because you need to get something smaller if it's the short leg. So it's gonna be 18 divided by the square root of three. So we do 18 over the square root of three. We're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of three. Um, because that's how we get rid of the square root of 3 in the denominator, and so that's going to give me 18 square root of 3 on the top. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3, which equals 6 square root of 3. And so the um, short leg in this particular triangle is 6 root 3. Now that's not what we were trying to find. We were trying to find the area, but the area, again, 1 half times the product of the bases. The two bases are 6 root 3, or product of the legs, and 18. 1 half times 6 is just 3, so you end up with 3 root 3 times 18, which is 48 or 54 times the square root of 3. And so 54 square root of 3 is um, the correct answer um, for that area. All right, this one you're asking to find the area of a rectangle now. Well, in a rectangle, you just need to know the two sides. Um, but they give you, so since it's a rectangle, you know that these must be right angles. And I give you that this is a 60 degree angle, which means this one must be a 30. So this actually turns out to be very similar, hopefully you'll notice, the number, example number one. Because you're given the hypotenuse and you want to go to the short leg, which is going to be 8 or half the hypotenuse. And then you're going to multiply the short leg times square root of 3 to get the long leg. And then you're going to remember that the area of a um, rectangle is just one, the length times width or base times height or however you want to say it, but it's going to be 8 times 8 root 3, which equals 64 times the square root of 3. And that's your answer, number 3. 4, it says find the area of the square that has diagonal length 20. I did not give you what the picture looks like, but it would look something like that. Um, these are all going to be right angles. Now, at this point, maybe you, you can see a way forward if you don't see it. Um, notice that when you only know one side of a triangle, in general, the way that we solve that problem is we um, either need a 45, 45, 90, or 30, 60, 90. In this case, it's going to be 45 because this 
and this and this and this. These are all congruent sides because it's a square, which means that this is, these are two isosceles triangles and an isosceles right triangle is the same as saying a 45, 45, 90. So to go from a hypotenuse to a leg in a 45, 45, 90, hopefully you remember that the key to that is dividing by the square root of two. So you're gonna get, multiply the top and the bottom by square root of two, so that gives you 20 square root of two over two, which is the same as 10 square root of two. So the, we just found out that one of these legs is 10 square root of two, which means the other leg is also 10 square root of two. So the area is gonna be 10 square root of two, or well, you could square it or you could just write it out, 10 square root of two times 10 square root of two or 10 square root of two squared. When you multiply again, multiply non-square roots together, so you get 100, 10 times 10. Square root of two times square root of two, well, that's square root of four, which is just two. Square root of four equals two. So 100 times two is 200. So the area of this um, square is 200. And the last one is a trapezoid. Remember your area of a trapezoid is one half times the height times the sum of the two bases. In this particular problem, if you notice, we don't know what the height is, we don't know what that length is, but we do know what the bases are. The bases are six and 17. So all we need to do is find the height. Well, I've given you some information here. I've told you this is a 45, 45, or 45 degree angle, which means you can draw in a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. And using your properties of that to go from a hypotenuse to a leg, just like we did in the last problem, divide by square root of two, and so that's going to give you 8 square over square root of 2. Multiply the top and the bottom by square root of 2, and you get 4. Well, you get 8 square root of 2 over 2, which equals 4 square root of 2. And so this is 4 square root of 2. 1 half times 4 is just 2, so 2 square root of 2 times 6 plus 17 is 23. So this is going to equal 46 root 2. And so the area of this trapezoid is 46 root 2.